Hey, welcome back. So it is leaf season. So we are off to get some leaves. So every year I try to get as many leaf bags as I can. I go to the kids' hockey games and usually, you know, right now I just drop Jackson off at his practice. And I've got about an hour, so I'll go around and collect as many leaf bags as I can possibly get in the next uh, in the next 30 minutes or so. And what I'm what I'm looking for when I'm going to get leaf bags is I'm looking for a uh, a property that has a very large tree. Um, Ideally, maybe even a small property so that they get overwhelmed with how many leaves they get. Uh, a really nice big tree. I don't really want to see a uh, walnut. I'm really looking for maple or oak. Uh, and then, you know, lots and lots of leaf bags. So the reason I do this is that that way you have the highest chance of getting leaves in the bags. I find what happens a lot if I just go and someone's got two leaf bags at the bottom of the driveway and I pick it up, it's usually half filled with trash. It's actually it's actually pretty gross. We've got a base of wood chips in the chicken run and I'm thinking that if we can then constantly be putting in shredded leaves that they'll actually turn over really quick and I'll get a really nice fast compost. Much faster than I would with the wood chips. It'll just maybe require me to add in more leaves more often than say replacing the wood chips. But I think That'll also help keep the smells down because it'll be turning over into compost quicker. And it'll also be, um, you know, a really, really fast creation of soil that I can then use in the gardens. So we're gonna try that out, see how it goes. If I can put in like uh, maple leaves that are a little bit of a larger leaf, then what also tends to happen is you get stuff like worms and slugs hanging out under them, more so than you would if you just had wood chips. And then that gives the chickens, you know, something else to kind of kick and scratch and pull apart. Okay, so these ones here that I just picked up, this is perfect. This is really what you want to find. You want to find somewhere with this nice shredded leaf, someone who went through that effort of shredding the leaves. That is ideal because it saves me the work of putting it out on my lawn and then mowing over it. And then this will help just break down faster because you just have more surface area with all these small little bits and that'll help it break down even quicker. So we're actually going to use that in our chicken pen. Hey baby girl. Thank you. 
So here are some leaf bags that I had last year. I just want to kind of show you guys. You know, you'll see it at the top that it doesn't look like a whole lot has happened, but as you get further and further down into there, you can see that it's really started to turn into some nice compost down there. And, you know, this is just leaf bags sitting here. Ideally, you have leaf bags that are um, actually being turned in a compost pile, some nitrogen added to it, but you can just leave leaf bags out there and they'll decompose, albeit anaerobically. And I'll show you uh, some leaves that I did a couple years ago, actually. What I did here is I, I just wanted to put some leaf bags in and around the uh, pen to keep the air from coming in leave some ventilation for if they are under there just make it a little bit warmer for them in the next uh you know month or so all right phone died let's try this again so this is an area back here where i piled up a bunch of um leaf bags so this is what you're gonna get this is what you're gonna get in about three or four years. Beautiful black soil, like garden, forest soil. This is why I go collecting all those leaf bags. And that's why I got that old man walking trail uh, down in the bottom area. Here's like a uh, piece of tile that someone had left in one of the leaf bags. So I'll take that out. But yeah, you get really nice soil after a couple years. So, you know, it's not an instant thing. It's something like all good things in life you got to work at. Um, but for this kind of thing, you just, you make it and you take your time and then uh, you just let nature deal with it. Here's the Jerusalem artichoke patch. Yeah, they're all falling over. That means I can probably go in and harvest a bunch. Let me see if I have enough phone battery to just yank one out and see what we get. I'll show you guys. Jerusalem artichokes. Food. Look at that. I'll go cook these up for dinner and I'll see you guys on the next one.